if you can get three on the road, that's a that's a really good weekend. To be able to get four is is always uh, above and beyond. I mean, Cameron, their record may not show it, but that's a competitive club. So to be able to go to their place and, and come away with four wins, that's a really really good weekend. You feel like the uh, bullpen's kind of taking that next step as the season progresses. We need to take a few more. I do. There was. Listen, I don't want to be too pessimistic. There were some bright spots, but we're not we're not pitching it the way we need to, especially out of the bullpen. Um, we did have a couple of guys step up and, and do what we thought they were capable of this weekend, and, and that was that was the silver lining. But we're still walking too many guys and working in bad counts out of the bullpen, and, and we're still a little too inconsistent when we go to guys out of the bullpen, not knowing which one we're going to get. We, the one thing I want out of the bullpen is number one, throw strikes, and number two, be consistent. Be the same guy every time we go to you out of the pen, so we know what we're getting. And right now, we're just not not doing that on a, on a consistent enough basis. In terms of getting them to that point, what do you think is the biggest step in terms of is it communication or just longer work or what? Honestly, I think there's there's multiple factors that go into that. Um, I think it varies from guy to guy. So to, to try to give one blanket answer for that would be difficult because I think with every single one of them, it could be a little bit different. But the bottom line is we've just got to keep working. We're not we're not where we need to be right now from a pitching standpoint. Um, again, I don't want to be overly pessimistic because we haven't played our best baseball yet and we're still sitting here 16 and six. So there's a lot of people that like to be in that situation where, where you feel like we got to get a lot better and we're 10 games above 500. So I want to keep things in perspective, but we, we've still got some areas we got to keep working and, and taking strides in. Offensively, you guys, one of the best in the country, as expected. Does Toro have you like the offense? Offensively, we can hit. And the, where, where I will tell you, I, I was impressed with this weekend. I think Coach Vandenberg and Coach Neal would tell you the same thing. It's, the, the one thing that we were a little bit afraid of with this club is being a little bit one-dimensional from the standpoint of not having a lot of speed, not having a lot of athleticism that we could stand up there and, and bang it with you and, and try to outbang you. But if we run into that really good arm, um, we were a little one-dimensional, a little station to station from the standpoint of not being able to do a lot of hitting and running and pushing and dragging and stealing bases and that kind of thing. And actually, we we showed this weekend we did a little more of that than we've done in the past, which was really encouraging to kind of kind of see, hey, if we if we need to, we're capable of doing some of that stuff. So to go along with just being able to stand up there and out hit people, uh, it was nice to see some of that. UTPB this weekend. How do you like that matchup? Every matchup in, in this series is tough. I mean, again, you can you can look at the numbers and go, hey, they're under 500, and they're at our place. It should be an easy weekend, but there's no easy weekends in this league. If you look back, I know they, they just came off of getting swept by St. Ed's, but uh, beat Kingsville two weeks ago a couple of times, I believe. So they've already, even though they're under 500, they've already beat a couple of really good clubs. A new coach down there that's doing a really good job with them, and, and they're going to come in here and be competitive. I mean, we need to be ready to go. So what do you tell the guys that knowing that say, hey, don't look at their record, this is a you got to preach that to them all weekend. There is no easy weekends in the Lone Star. And, and understand that we've got a target on our back every weekend, and, and they're trying to prove something. They're trying to get into, into that upper echelon of this league. And, and the way they do that is by coming in and knocking us off a time or two. So they're going to be motivated to come in and, and get after us. They're going to come in and play hard, and they're well coached, and, and they're going to be ready to go. So we need to be ready to go too.